Problem 4.14 or 5.13 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. A frictionless piston cylinder device contains 5 kilograms of nitrogen at 100 kilopascals and 250 Kelvin. Nitrogen is now compressed slowly according to the relationship given by pressure, specific volume to the 1.4 1, 1. is equal to a constant until it reaches a final temperature of 360 Kelvin. The purpose of this problem is to calculate the work input during this process. In order to evaluate the work input during this process, what we're going to evaluate is the boundary work. Noticing that the it is a relationship between pressure and volume, where volume, a specific volume is raised to a power, this is known as a polytropic process. The equation for calculating the boundary work for a polytropic process is given as the integral from 1 to 2, pressure as a function of the specific volume, and this is equal simply to P2, V2, minus P1, V1, divided by 1 minus N. And in this case, the value of N is equal to 1.4. Um, notice that in this particular case, we do not have the value of the specific volumes at either one of the states. So what we're going to use is the fact that nitrogen is an ideal gas, and we're going to use the ideal gas law that relates pressure and specific volume with the temperature and the constant, uh, the ideal gas constant for nitrogen. If we use this relationship and substitute it in here, we see that this formula becomes simply R. T2 minus T1 divided by 1 minus N. And then we go to the back of the book and find that the value of R for nitrogen is given as 0.2968 kilojoules kilograms Kelvin. We now substitute the values for the boundary work. So we have 68 kilojoules kilogram Kelvin. We substitute the two temperatures that we have. The final temperature is 360 Kelvin. The initial temperature is 250 Kelvin. And we divide by 1 minus 1.4. Notice that Kelvin cancels with the Kelvin in here. The bottom part is dimensionless. So at the end, what we ended up is with negative 408 kilojoules per kilogram. The fact that the um, value of the boundary work is negative, it means that the work is done on the system. It also indicates that the system is being compressed. Also, if we were going to represent this as in a PV diagram, we'll start at state one, finish at state two, and the curve will be as such. Uh, based on the relationship given and notice once again that the specific volume is reduced from phase one to phase two therefore showing that the uh, system is being compressed that's why the boundary work is negative